If rigging 3D humanoid characters has ever been a thing that you've desired to do for both games and animation with not more than 4 clicks, then AccuRig is definitely the best tool that you're looking for. Unlike traditional rigging which takes a bunch of time and effort to set up, or similar platforms that barely allows for finger rigging for animation or a review section where you can preview where joints have been placed, AccuRig allows you to rig your models including fingers in a few clicks. And with lots of rooms for review and real-time preview, AccuRigs from the folks at Revolution simply makes rigging your 3D model an easy breeze. This awesome tool works with both stylized humanoid models, 3D scanned models and sculpted ones alike. Additionally, AccuRig provides beautiful tools to refine joint placement for shoulders, posture and pose offset which works great for various performances. And the best part is this is totally free which means anyone can simply go over to the actorcore.relution.com page which I'm gonna put link in the description and totally grab this for free. And with version 1.1 currently available, this tool now brings some more quality of life improvement to everyone. And once you download this incredible tool, you can simply start rigging. This is also going to require you to have an account with the folks at Relution which you can also create for free. Now once you get that going, how you get to rig your models here is very easy. So click, drag and drop the model right here or you can go over to Sketchfab to search for one or click on the choose file to choose the file that you want. So because we just want to drag and drop, we're just going to drop this right here and this is going to import the model and from here we can start doing some stuff. We can simply click on force symmetry which automatically forces symmetry on this model, click on rig body and this is automatically going to calculate all of the places where it believes that joints should exist on the model and place those joints there. And if you're not comfortable with where these joints are placed, you can manually choose to position them and get your desired result. It is also worth mentioning that right over here where you get to see the big thumbnail this acts as a visual guide to showing you where exactly the joints needs to be placed at a given time and once you're comfortable with the placement of the joint you can click on the rig hands button it's going to require you to select the number of fingers that your model has in this case we're going with five fingers click on next and automatically this is also going to voxelize the entire finger and position the joint accurately within the mesh now if you also find some discrepancies you, you can proceed to fix that but we're comfortable with what we have right here as AccuRig does a wonderful job in terms of placing joints for fingers. The next thing we need to do is click on finalize and this is going to proceed to finalize the model and this is exactly how easy it is. Now at this point you can now choose to preview the model however you want. If you like to see some body movement, you want to get some hand gesture or you want to see how the acting would look like, you can now get all of this happening. And once you're comfortable with what you have, you can hit on the export button and export your 3D model. And you can see with just a few clicks, you can rig any character including the fingers and they are ready to export to any DCC app of choice. But then there are a few things that you might want to know about working with AccuRig, especially if you like to take full control of how you get to rig your models. Now one of the cool things you'll notice with AccuRig is right now, if you click on this button, you'll be able to preview the joints right inside the mesh, which is really, really cool. You can also choose to play with how you like to see your model in terms of wireframe, wireframe and shaded, and you can play with whatever color that actually suits what you're going for. And there's also a brand new update that exists this here that deals with something I will call the view cube and at this point you can view your models from different angles at any time by simply selecting any of these boxes that matches the view that you're going for. And one thing that stands out for me with AccuRig is you can always go back to update the joint placement and get your desired result. This is very different from both traditional and other platforms that offers automatic character rigging. With AccuRig you can just simply go all the way back to the body rig and you can make adjustments. So we could say maybe we would like the shoulder to be somewhere like there and we can just jump right back into checking animation and this is also applicable for fingers you can make some modifications to the fingers and go back into animation and depending on what you want to do at any point in time you're rigging or you're just previewing the motions there is always the availability of going back and making modifications to the joint and coming back automatically and previewing the motions and getting the best out of it now before we talk about how you can work with either non-symmetrical models or models you like to play with their symmetries by yourself if we click on this button we can mirror the motion just in case so you can mirror these motions before you export them which is really cool and you can also zero out the motions before you export them as well. Now let's go ahead and load in a brand new model and take a look at how you can work with models without using the symmetry tool that we have turned on right here. So what we can do is go back to the section where we have load, select any of the characters that we have saved out before and drag and drop it right here. You can also notice that we have some compactable poses that exist right here. So just in case you're wondering what pose you can actually work with the T pose, the A pose, the A pose too the multi mesh pose and other forms of poses are also supported. So I'm just going to click and drag and drop that right here and you can see it. 
Now, by default, we do have the symmetry line, which you can always play with and if you bring in your model and your model is not properly positioned you can use any of these three rotational buttons to rotate the model however you choose and in this case we don't want to turn on the first symmetry which actually forces symmetry on the model we we'll like to do these things by hand and what we can do is super easy click on the rig body and this is also going to evaluate the entire body and place joints wherever it chooses. now the reason why we're looking at this is at certain times when you have models that have certain parts symmetrical and certain parts are non-symmetrical you might want to actually get things happening in this form. So in this case, we can go in and position this joint right here. And you notice that this other joint is not positioned. So instead of going back to start doing that, what we can do is just simply click on this button and we're going to mirror whatever position that we have going on here over to this other one. And the same thing happens here. We can move this all the way to this section and click on this button and get that there. We can also do the same thing here. So I can bring this right over here, move this right the way to the stop and with this selected, we can click on this button and get that happening as well. The same thing applies to the fingers. So we can click on hand, select the number of fingers that we're going for and click on next. And this is going to evaluate the mesh and place the joints where they should be. Now, in several cases, because we didn't turn the symmetry on, this is not going to really know exactly how to work it out. So in most cases like this, you would notice that the finger joints gets to be displaced and if you take a look at the other finger, that might be looking pretty nice. So what we can do is to revert to the first finger and we need to manually position the joints exactly where we want them to be. You can test out mirroring, but in most cases, because we didn't turn on the symmetry, I wouldn't really suggest that you mirror fingers. You can choose to mirror the full body, but fingers is not one thing I would suggest that you mirror at this point. So once you get the fingers ready, you can now proceed to previewing your other finger and then finally previewing your animation. And with this here, if there are certain parts of the model which you like to tweak, say for example the feet, you can always play with that. Maybe we we'll like this character's feet to point forward. What we can do is we can go to the corresponding axis and play with the rotation. So we can position that right there and in this case we can also position this to point forward. The same thing happens here, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the very same thing like so and we can also position this right here so in this case you can now see that we have this character working forward of course this looks a bit weird but you know we can bounce that back as well in terms of the shoulder we can also do some very cool stuff so you notice that we have the character's chest bulging all the way forward and see if we can bring them down so i'm just going to go over to the z-axis and bring this a little bit lower Maybe a point like so and do the very same thing here so i'm just going to select the shoulder there as well and we can bring that down too so depending on what you're trying to get there are lots of options that you can work with there's actually one cool thing that you would notice if you're coming from accurate 1 to accurate 1.1 right here you'd notice that we have a basic model information section now this tells you the character's height and also the total triangle that makes up this model this is definitely going to be a useful information especially for those who are poly conscious and would like to know the poly count of the model that they're working with so this is more like it accurate 1.1 is now here and this is the next generation of automatic character rigging for everyone to play with to play with and for those who like to get this then you can simply go over to the link in the description that can bring you right here where you can get it at the same time the folks at Revolution does have a motion library section which is called actor core so within the actor core section you can download tons of motions which you can use for your animations and games and there are lots of free ones which you can start off with and explore and if you're looking for characters to also play with the accurate then there are tons of characters that you can find here and you can also get some free ones every single month. And currently, they do have some holiday savings. And for anyone who's thinking about getting some assets, you might want to consider checking out some of these and grabbing these offers while they last. Links to all of this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.